sawdust in my nose. Hey, Kern County, Megan Pearson, your director of Countywide Communications. And this week we are inside our shop. Uh, this is the general services shop right here is actually all the woodworking equipment. Um, there's a welding shop and a sign shop, so we'll try and show you around through the video. Really cool. We have a really talented team in general services who manages all of this work in-house, and they were kind enough to clear out for us for a little bit. For our first events around the county, it will be Veterans Day on Monday, November 11th, and there's a couple of Veterans Day parades that are happening. So the first one is out in McFarland, and again, that's on Monday, November 11th. It's their first annual Veterans Day parade, and it starts uh, at the intersections of Davis and Perkins at noon, and there's a celebration following the parade at the McFarland uh, Park and Rec District. They'll have music, food, vendors, and games, so make sure you get out and check that out. The second event is the Bakersfield's uh, Veterans Day Parade. It's the 100th annual Bakersfield uh, Veterans Day Parade for post 26. That's on Monday, November 11th. The parade starts at 10 a.m. downtown. Uh, it's put on by the American Legion. They'll have breakfast uh, for veterans at first thing in the morning. And then afterwards, veterans have a free lunch. And there's an award ceremony for all the entries in the parade at 2 p.m. So make sure on Monday, if you have the day off, that you get out and check those parades out. And speaking of Veterans Day, it is also the 244th birthday of the Marine Corps. We want to wish all of our local Marines a very happy birthday. Our Veterans Services Department is hosting a celebration, a breakfast and a ceremony on Friday, November 8th. The breakfast is at 8 a.m. and the ceremony is at 10. It's everybody gathers around in the parking lot there at Vet Services off of Golden State Highway. So make sure you go check that out. And again, happy birthday to the Marine Corps. Next up, we have the Casa Superhero Run, and if you haven't participated in this before, it's really cool. It's on Saturday, November 9th, out at Riverwalk Park. It starts at 6.30 in the morning. Uh, they have a 2K, a 5K, they have a 10K, and a walk or run. You can run as a team, a family, an individual, however you want to do it. The most important part is that you put your superhero costume on and get to running. Last up, we want to talk about the Kern County Homeless Collaborative's point in time count. That will happen in January 24th, but we are already gearing up to get volunteers. Uh, last year, we had a record number of volunteers and it was really important. And this year, we're trying to get more than 500 volunteers. So if you're interested, um, it's on January 24th. We'll need you to sign up and go through training early. If you want more information about the point in time count, you can visit the link on the screen. Um, and we'll keep you updated about all Kern County is doing to address homelessness. That's this week around the county, and we'll see you next week.